So here's my rain harvesting automatic chicken waterer machine that I just made today. Uh, made it out of a 55 gallon drum. And I'm gonna collect the rain off of the hen house. It's not pretty, but I think it's gonna work pretty good. I figured I'd set it up real quick just to uh, make sure it would work. In my mind it was working, but just wanted to make sure it would work in, in, in reality. So I just found this piece of gutter on the side of the road in someone's trash. Must have been a scrap or something. And screwed it to the, to the roof. Uh, probably going to put a bead of silicone across here because I'm getting some leakage. Uh, then I didn't have any connectors or anything and this thing was more than I wanted to spend. So I ended up uh, just screwing that in and kind of wrapping it over there. It works good enough. I might have to do something more in the winter. But I think that was seven or eight bucks and then... The barrel is not food grade, but it's uh, it only had soap in it, so uh, it, I've rinsed it out quite a few times and, and dumped it and scrubbed it and you know all that good stuff. Um, mounted it on some cinder blocks and then cut a hole in the top where the funnel comes in. I'm gonna put a screen a screen in there when I when I get it uh, better situated, and then um, I got this series of reduces they thread right into the bung hole so it's these ones here had to be had to be pvc cemented and then the rest of them were just screw ins with threads and i cut this piece of hose and it, the theory is that i could just leave it as a trickle and never ever have to come out and water the give water to the chickens they'll always have fresh water out here so if i leave it on a trickle after this is filled up all the way um even if it runs low during the day, overnight it should overfill. And they'll come down in the morning and they'll fresh water. So I don't know because it's not food grade. I don't know if it's gonna if that's gonna be a big deal or not for the chickens. But I wouldn't drink out of it unless I had to. After after hearing what happens with the water bottles if they leave, stay out in the sun and stuff. So so I don't know. I don't know if. That would be a bad idea to have these chickens drinking this all the time or not, but in the meantime, until I get a food grade one, this was kind of like a prototype. So they seem to like it. Just have to. It'll be a while to figure out the exact um, amount to keep the keep the faucet open so that it doesn't overfill all the time and just drain the barrel out. But. I think in, in all with the funnel and all the uh, all these pieces here, I think these were like a buck, you know, 60, 80 cents a piece. And this was, I think that was $4. So I'm looking at less than $20 for the whole setup, you know, considering I had a piece of hose that I could sacrifice and, and the barrel was free and the uh, cinder blocks were just kicking around and the gutter itself was free. So I got, uh, I got the whole thing for, I guess, about 15 bucks. And I'll get I'll get water every day without without having to come out and remember to do it or worry about them tipping it over and you know not having any for the day. You can see it just trickling out just a little bit there. So it'll be a matter of fine tuning the volume of water coming out, but. Oh, well, so that's that, and uh, I'll be fine-tuning it as I see fit, but for now it seems to be working, working pretty good.